Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my fall winter skincare routine because it's definitely not the same as it was during the summer. My skin type, I am combo, so I usually get oily on my nose, right on my pores, sometimes on my chin, and sometimes in the center of my forehead. I get dry, like really, really dry, especially during the winter, right around my mouth and sometimes right here on my cheek. So I try to balance things out and so for the cold months, things definitely have to change. So I thought I would go ahead and share this with you. I've been doing these things on a regular basis. I definitely have my products down to a pack. This is what I'm gonna be using for the remainder of the winter. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I obviously start off in the morning by washing my face and I use the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. Now I use just a tiny little bit of this and I wash my face. Tatcha originally sent me this as well as a few other items but I have repurchased them like <laughs> I think this is my third bottle of this cleanser I love it because again I'm combo so I feel like I need to get that deep cleanse but it doesn't dry me out so I start off in the morning with this and then every other morning just because I don't want to over exfoliate my skin. I go in with one of their rice polishes. I have four different minis that came in a kit that they sent and I'm trying to figure out which one or two that I want to get the full size of. So far, I am liking the calming and this is the Tatcha Rice Polish. This one's calming. This is one of my favorites. And then I like the Gentle a lot as well. And then we have the Deep and this one I'm not using right now at all because it's, like it says, it's the Deep. I wanna be a little bit more gentle. And then there's the Classic. Basically, I take just a little bit of this powder. There's a little hole in the mini ones and I put it in the palm of my hand my hands will be wet and then I put in some water as well and it kind of lathers up into a foam so it's not like something that's going to like scratch at your face or anything you're able to actually use these every single day but I only use it three two or three times a week just in the morning because I, that's when I want to put on my makeup and my makeup look really smooth. I've stopped really using like the really harsh exfoliators that like really scrub at your skin. I used to really like them, but I know that they can do some damage. So I have been more gentle on my skin and I have been liking these so far. And again, my favorites thus far are the gentle and the calming, especially again for the winter months. All right, now that my skin is clean, I'm gonna go in with the actual skincare. So I'm starting off with the MAC Lightful C. This is a new one. This is the C Plus Coral Grass Softening Lotion Spray. You can spray your face with this. I don't. I like to spray it into my hand just like the old dump out ones, which bring them back. I don't really see a difference between the two. Uh, they both kind of feel the same to me and I haven't noticed a difference in my skin or anything. So I'm not really mad about the difference in formula or anything like that, but you know, to each their own with the spray nozzle. I spray it into my hand and then I will put it in both and put it all over. And I really like to kind of hold it onto my skin to make it like the warmth from my hands really melt it into the skin. And this helps everything else I'm about to put on to my skin sink in. Now I'm gonna go in with my serum and I'm gonna be using my beloved La Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. I use one pump. This will last you like all winter if you use one pump. I take that and I apply it all over. During the summer, I don't think I necessarily need this. It definitely works better than any other hydrating serum or gel or anything that I have used, but I don't need it during the summer, but I feel like I need it during the winter. During the summer, I'm able to use like the Belief High Gear Hungarian water essence and then the Clinique uh, moisture surge and stuff like that. But during the winter, this is so much better for my skin. For my moisturizer, I'm going in with this one from Elemis. They sent me a care package and this was in it. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And what I like about this is that it is almost a hybrid between a gel 
and a cream moisturizer. Like it's not too heavy, but it's also not too watery to where it's not giving me what I need for the winter time. I have been thoroughly enjoying this. It works really well underneath my makeup. My skin feels nice and smooth. It feels plump. There's something about this that is bomb. Like I love this so much. During the summer, I was able to use the Tasha water cream, which I absolutely love. Like I almost got through it during the summer, but for for the winter, I feel like I need just a little bit more and the Elemis has been doing that for me. For my eyes, I just had to repurchase this because I'm about out of it. But this is from Belief and this is the Moisturizing Eye Balm. I take just a little bit of this. You can see like I have very little left. There's very little left. I take a little bit of this and I pop it right underneath my eyes and then I also put it on top. I adore this because it is so hydrating. It goes well, again, underneath the makeup, but I feel again like it plumps, but it's not greasy. It's more, it's not too watery either, so it doesn't feel like there's nothing there. It's right in between. It is one of the most hydrating things I've ever put underneath my eyes, even more so than the Laneige sleeping like sleeping eye mask i like this so much more and again i just repurchased this this is amazing now of course we cannot forget our lips so i go in with my tatcha camilla gold spun lip balm and that is it everything I do for my skincare in the morning. I usually give it about 15, 20 minutes before I start applying any makeup so I make sure that everything has really sunk into my skin. Now let's go into my nighttime routine. I didn't record this just because I thoroughly enjoy my bath time, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what I do and what steps. The first thing I do to remove all of my makeup is going with the Tatcha One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. Now, now, if this is enough for you, you don't want to double cleanse, you can only use this and it'll be completely fine. But I use, I use a lot, you guys. I use like four or five pumps and get it in my hand and go straight to my eye so that I can like dissolve all of my mascara and then all over my face. And that would be enough. Like I almost want to use just this in the mornings during the winter because it's so soothing. But at night after I have had so much makeup on, I do that and then I go back in with the same one. One that I use in the morning which is the deep cleanse from Tatcha. Okay after I have my skin cleaned at night this is a whole different ball game because I don't do the same thing every single night. I switch it up so I'm going to tell you each of these and why I do them. <laughs> I'm going to start with what I would consider to be my most typical and what I do the majority of the time because it's only like two times a week. Oh it, Okay, let's just get into this. The majority of the time, I have washed my face and then I will tone. These are the Triad Pads from Arcona, which is basically just the cranberry toner in pre-soaked pads. They're just easier. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So I will tone my face. And then I'm gonna go in with the softening lotion from MAC. I let that kind of sink in. And then while the MAC softening lotion is soaking into the skin, I go ahead and I do my new lash. So I take this. Do not do your eye cream first. You wanna apply this to dry lashes and go right at the lash band. I use this every single night and this is why my lashes are so long. Let that completely dry. So while I'm allowing that to dry, I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C and my favorite one is from Drunk Elephant. This is the C Firma Day Serum. I know that this contains a little bit of vitamin C but really not enough. This is going to do the trick for you. I never thought that you could use vitamin C and Retin-A together but apparently you can and it does does amazing things for your skin. I learned this from Brianna Stanko and ever since I've been doing that I feel like I have seen a difference in the brightness and texture of my skin. So I go in with one pump of this, put it all over and then I wait just like 10-15 seconds for that to sink in before going in with my hydroquinoin cream. This is 4% it is prescription only. It is not something that you stay on. You have to go on it and then come off and go on. Not everybody is going to be a candidate for this, but definitely talk to your dermatologist. I love this. I used to have major sun damage all underneath my eye right here. If you'll go to my first or second 
skincare routine, uh, yeah, you will see it and you will see the progress when I started using this and Retin-A. Now during the summer months, I don't typically have to do this step anymore because I'm very used to Retin-A, but right now my mouth area has been very dry. So just to protect it from the Retin-A, I'm taking my Tatcha, the water cream, and I'm putting it right around my mouth and right up against the nose area and waiting for that to sink in just a little bit so that I can protect that area from the Retin-A. But before I go in with the Retin-A, I'm going to go in with my eye cream because now my new lash has been dried. This is what I have been testing out at night and I have been enjoying this. This is the Elemis Elemis Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. This is very lightweight. It's more watery than what the belief is. I definitely like the belief more for the daytime, but this one is more on the anti-aging side than what the belief is. So I have been testing this out. I can't say for sure whether or not it's actually doing anything yet because I haven't been using it that long, but all I can say is that I do like it. It's not giving me any weird interactions with my eye or anything like that, and I'm not getting dry. So I take three dots of this one two three start at the bottom and then I take with the excess onto my lid and I try to avoid the lash line area so that I'm not messing up the new lash if you get your new lash wet like your eyes are tearing up or you're putting creams on top of it you are not going to get the long lash effect nearly as quickly or even possibly at all because you're diluting that product so make sure you don't do that and then the very last step is the actual retin-a <laughs> see i'm almost out of this guy so mine is tretinoin it's just like the generic for retin-a this is prescription only and i'm at the highest strength it is a point one percent and you'll see on here right below it says rx only i take this and I put a pea size amount on my face and I rub it in. I try to avoid this area right now. Everything kind of migrates on your skin anyway, so it's going to hit these areas. I don't take it past here, so you do not want to put Retin-A right up underneath your eyes. If you're looking for something with a retinoid in it, you can do that with your eyes, like something from um, Kate Somerville has one with a retinoid in it. But... This is my very last step for my normal skincare routine at night. However, I also have been using something from the pharmacy. This is the Pharmacy Honey Moon Glow. It is an AHA resurfacing night serum. So I have kind of been alternating the Retin-A, this, and then not using anything at all at night. And I really have been enjoying it because typically I would just use Retin-A and that whole process every single night. And I would do my Dennis Gross peel pads or whatever. But what I have been enjoying is taking my Dennis Gross steamer. So I have showed you guys this before. It's a facial steamer. I love it. I love it so, 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 so much. And I will do that whole process and just like listen to YouTube videos and relax and it's amazing. Then I'm going to go and do all of my eye care stuff. And then this alone, I don't put anything else with it. I do this twice a week and it really does help with texture, brightness, everything. I really adore this. The first time I used this, it did kind of sting quite a bit. I'm not like bad, but it was more than even like the Sunday Riley. That one I don't remember stinging this much, but now it doesn't really do that to me. And I just use one pump. I get a little bit of a tingle, but I think my skin has gotten used to it. This stuff is amazing. I can tell you that I definitely like it more than the Sunday Riley now that I've used it long enough. It really works well for my skin. All right, this is something I do when I just feel like it is necessary. So if I feel like my skin is too dry or at least one time a week, if not to it just depends on how my skin is doing and if I do it twice a week then I'll just replace either the pharmacy night or the retin-a night but once at least a week I do my eyes the same exact way I tone my skin I use my lightful C and then I will go in with my moisturizer which is the Elmis Pro collagen I wait for that to sink in and then I'm going in with this. I love this oil. I also love, obviously, this one right here from La Mer. But honestly, 
Like, I don't know that I have been able to see a big difference between the two other than the price. I mean, I know this one's quite a bit smaller. I love this, don't get me wrong, but I have really been enjoying this one. It is the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. I take four or five drops, I take it into my hands, and then I press it onto my face all over, all over, down my neck, and then what's left on the back of my hands. When I do this, when I wake up in the morning, my face is so much better. If I had a dry day before, I know that this is what I'm going to do at night and it just makes me, like, it recovers my skin. I highly suggest checking out this superfood facial oil. Like, it's so, so, so nice. I am prone to acne and I was scared to use it at first because I there's only a few oils that I can use like the La Mer, the Renewal oil, but I went ahead and I tried it and I have been really enjoying this one. So that is it for like my routines. I know, I hope that wasn't confusing. It just depends like when you have to combo skin or, and I mean skin just in general doesn't always need the same thing. So you kind of have to pay attention to it and see what it needs at the time. I like having a lighter based moisturizer as well as a heavier one just because you never really know what your skin is going to be doing the next day, at least for me. So the last little things that I wanna to touch on are some masks that I use and some just other random products. I didn't bring out everything, just things that I know I use on the regular. The mask that I use the most often is the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. I adore this. It makes my skin feel like I don't need anything after. I feel like it looks a little bit brighter, a little bit more supple. It is so nice. This is beautiful. I'm take like I'm telling you, I put it on and I get it all over. I sit there in the bath and I watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> and then when I take it off, it feels like I have done my entire skincare routine and it's amazing. So that's my favorite mask. And then for my pores, I've still been enjoying this one. It's from Glam Glow. It's the Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. So if I feel like my pores are being crazy, I do this a couple times a week and I feel like it just keeps my pores in check. I pop it on. You can put it all over. I don't want to waste it. I put it just on my pores and on my nose and sometimes on my chin and it just like shrinks them up. <laughs> it gives this really cold effect and it almost makes me like want to scratch my face off because it's like bubbly but it really does help make the appearance of your pores look better it's not actually shrinking your pores but it does really help with the appearance of them if i wear false lashes and i have like glue stuck in my lashes or if i have not gotten all my eye makeup off for some reason Typically, I had been using the Lancome Bifacil, but I have been using this right here. And I know it doesn't look like I use a lot, but that's because I take a Q-tip. You have to mix this up. This is the Elemis White Flowers Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. And I take a Q-tip and I get it right there and I dump it over and soak the Q-tip. And I soak any areas that I have like lash glue and I kind of roll the q-tip and it helps to get it off. I've been testing this out and I've been loving it so far. I don't see a huge difference between the two. All I can say is that this really does work and it doesn't burn my eyes. Another thing you guys have seen me talk about, especially whenever I have any kind of like surgery or illness or I don't feel like going and doing the whole routine to take off my makeup, I am using the Bioderma. This is the Sensibo H2O. I love this stuff, especially if I use the oil to get stuff off my eyes I like to take this on one of my Shiseido cotton squares and then just get off any excess oil but I use these quite a bit and I think that is it other than of course my Laneige sleeping mask this goes gooped on my lips every single night before I go to bed now that's officially it I'm done that's it. <laughs> I hope this was helpful and not like more confusing to you guys, but I really like everything that I have talked about. I would highly recommend everything I've talked about. Again, my skin type is combination. And I do want to mention that, you know, fillers, Botox, that kind of thing, because people do ask about that. I have a video talking about um, filler and Botox and whatnot. It's, I am 
a little over four months out from my Botox. So I wanted to do this video now so you guys could see like, eh, you know, like what my skin looks like normally, like everything's moving. I can smile, do all that stuff. I do have a little bit of filler in my smile lines and I actually have filler in my lips if you guys did not know, but I'm just keeping it 100. I like to stay pretty natural, but I wanted to do this video before I got any Botox so you guys could see like my natural stance. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. I am not an esthetician. I just know what works for me. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.